All right, testing one, two, three, and we're good to go. Ba ba ba. I don't know what I'm doing. So today I'm going to give you a little recap of what happened last weekend. I was at the Hammersmith Winter Market, and oh, excuse me. Well, I was at Hammersmith Winter Market, and this was the first time in three years that I went to the Hammersmith Winter Market. And to tell you the truth. I had some skepticisms and didn't go into it with any expectations because number one I haven't been there for a long time so I probably won't be thinking I was probably thinking that I wasn't going to able to make as much money as I did and number two as it was Christmas now I was ex now it's so hard to kind of not ex not ah it's so hard not to just expect something because we all expect things to happen when things are getting busy but the thing is i just think that when you come into it you just don't go into it with any expectation just see how the day goes and then boom the results are there now last time we were at the uh event it was like very big very uh busy compared to north End road and the thing is it's still like that three years on i mean it has been a while since we had that event let alone covid getting in the way but being uh, so my store was at boots it was right there right in front of me and the problem is is that i had a little road or little road hole or something like that that just stunk up the place and made the customers leave though for surprisingly i managed to get a good amount of sales despite the annoying smell that i had to deal with let alone had to go through some stuff that i had to basically deal with in terms of people behind me in terms of trying to get a better sound for myself because no one could hear me because these people were playing at the back of my uh at the back of my stall <laughs> Yeah, that 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 wasn't that wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. No disrespect to them, but it got very very repetitive at the end. I I don't like Christmas songs. They're, they're just cheesy stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But with that being said, I went into it and I've met so many good people there. It was really nice to kind of meet some people there. I've met a couple of customers that I've seen in the autumn market back in uh, North End Road. And I also saw some newer people there that discovered my work. And I tried to sell some prints as well because there were some prints that I was doing for like 25 pounds. And they're still on the website if you want to check it out. So what happened after that was that uh, I had a pretty fun experience. I can't lie, it was pretty fun. Instead, I was making so much more sales than I did last time. I was so happy that people were interested in some of the newer cards that I designed for Christmas. And now that I've been through all of that, it just makes me want to do a bit more, but at the same time, do something different in terms of just trying to do the same old greeting cards, paintings, prints. But I came through and I came up with some ideas along the way because I never stopped working. So the thing is, I decided to just go for what I think would be beneficial for some. And that in itself made me realize, so if they only like Christmas cards, then they surely should be able to make something for like, let's say t-shirts, jumpers, or like caps <laughs> even, or even just like some cups or something like that. I mean, I have to order so many cups, but that's, that's a bit like, oh. And then after that, it also makes me want to realize that, you know, what, I'm going to build a starving artist very soon. And I really want to try and make that into like a market sell when I get the chance. So then that way it kind of breaks the boundaries for people like myself to do like more black main characters and X, Y, and Z. But I don't want to be too preachy about it. So I'm going to have to <laughs> try and just do it all, all action rather than talking the talk. So with that being said, I kind of wanted to show you some results on the last time we sold the uh, greeting cards. We made 30 sales. Now this time we made, drum roll please, this price right there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We made like 62, 62 cards and we did some deals as well, which people accepted. And I loved how, you know, they were always open about it. 
but to tell you the truth i was just like wow this this came out of nowhere and it wowed me how many people really liked some of the designs that i did for them but yeah i really enjoyed it it was it was fun it was it was cool it was really cool now we've got to look forward to um the summer which is only about uh what seven months or six months something like that yeah seven months but yeah uh, let me know what you guys feel about this uh, video. I might do more of some of this stuff soon. And I've also got some uh, designs in the way that I want to create and kind of make. I've got some uh, artwork that I want to show coming soon. Hopefully it won't be too boring and too like talkative that much. I just want to kind of keep it short and to the point. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and yeah, see ya.